it's Michaela and you're watching a fun size style. So for today's video I have a clothing haul for you, but it's not your average clothing haul. So when you guys are watching this, I am in Halo Attraction and I've done a whole playlist about that, so that's not what today's video is going to be about, but it is going to be about what I'm going to wear during Halo Attraction. I wanted to talk a little bit today how I have adapted traditional clothing to be able to get dressed while I'm in Halo Attraction. I've been in Halo Attraction for three months, so it's not like a temporary thing where I could just wear a hospital gown the whole time. I'm going to want to get dressed and feel, have some level of normalcy throughout my day. And so that meant getting creative with clothing and that because I won't be able to put any items over my head and obviously that creates a great barrier for getting dressed every single day. I thought to purchase a whole bunch of dresses. I only have 12 right now. I'm going to be getting more because like I said I'm going to be in Halo Attraction for like 100 days and so I'm going to get sick of wearing the same 12 dresses, you know, ever so often. Figured I would at least get this many to start. It is really hard to find age-appropriate clothing with nice lightweight fabric, comfortable to wear and perfect for season, but yet still short sleeve. I wanted to send a huge thank you to three brands that I reached out to that sent me dresses to feature in this video. So I want to thank Hayden Girls, Primary.com, and Thread Up. All three of these brands sent me dresses for this occasion. And so I just want to give a huge shout out to them. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me these items. So give them huge kudos and I'll have all these items from there linked down below except for Thread Up because obviously it's like a thrift, it's a thrift store so whatever you get is what's there. But I will have a referral link down below from Thread Up. What my mom did is I had the idea to insert zippers in the back. We inserted zippers, or my mom did, inserted zippers on all my dresses so they zip about a little more than halfway so that we'd be able to open it up. I can put my arms through and then just zip it up in the back so that I wouldn't have to put it over my head because I can't. So for ladies out there, if you're going into Halo Attraction, what I recommend is the easiest. I know a lot of my girlfriends, they still wore a t-shirt. They just wore really big t-shirts and I'm still going to need help. He's on, like I won't be able to zip it up. If you're a guy, uh, that's not going to be helpful so you can just exit out now. I'm um, so sorry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what dresses I and what Brand. There is one dress from Amazon and then I have three dresses from Old Navy that I purchased myself. And then again, all those other brands sent me these dresses. So. I do want to start out, I started with Old Navy. I purchased three dresses, made sure they would get here on time. I've been having so much trouble with UPS. Not USPS, UPS. The past two times I've ordered clothing that got delivered, that's getting delivered via UPS, it's been late. I know the post office is having issues, but it's not the post office, it's UPS. Again, it's late and that happened with my JCPenney order. It came like five days late and the same thing is happening with my old navy order and I paid for express shipping so that's really annoying. I took pictures of the dresses that I purchased from old navy. I really really like them. They're super cute. So I'm excited to for those to arrive to add to my collection. So once those arrive I'll have about 15 but I'll still want to get some more again because I'll be in this for so long. So if you guys like the ones that I got from Old Navy, they're super, super cute and I got them on sale. That made it even better. Right, next, I'll go ahead and show you guys the dresses that I got from Primary.com. A huge shout out to Primary for sending these over. I'm going to be in Halo Attraction during the fall and winter. I still wanted my fashion style to represent that. If you have not heard of Primary.com, it's a basic kids store clothing store. They sell all basic because there's no logos, no frills, no ruffles. Just a great shop for basic. So the first one that I got is just a basic black dress. You can never go wrong with a basic black dress for all seasons. That's the first one that I got. I will say with their dresses, I would size up for your child. I know, or if it's for yourself, if you have Osteo Genesis and Perfecta. I normally wear a size 8, 9 primary.com, but with their dresses, I had to size up to a 10, so I would keep that in mind. The next one that I got is this magenta pink dress. I don't really love the shade of pink, but my options are so limited with short sleeve dresses. This time of year, I'm kind of just getting what I can get and staying within my fall winter color palette as much as possible. But I just got this basic pink one. And the next one that I got from Primary is this white and blue striped dress. I love the shade of blue. This periwinkle blue, I think it's also pretty for all seasons. And I love how this is like the three quarter length sleeve. I love how it's, you know, not short sleeve, not long sleeve. But three quarter length sleeve is perfect this time of year and this dress is so comfortable. I cannot wait to wear this. The last dress that I got from Primary is just a nice blue color dress. This one is showing up much brighter on camera than it actually is. So it's more of a faded blue which I really like. Perfect for the winter time. Thank you to Primary for sending those over. The next 
dress that I got. It's from Amazon. I purchased this myself. Amazon didn't have a huge selection of dresses for the style that I needed in my color palette. But I got this uh, burgundy striped dress, white and striped dress from Amazon. It's by the brand Crazy 8. I got this one because I have another blue dress that I wore after my surgery. It's got like a nice comfy dress after my previous surgery to wear. And it's so comfortable. It's my most favorite dress I own in terms of comfort. Like it literally feels like pajamas, but it's not. So I thought this dress would be the same kind of fabric, but just different color. But this one's more of a heavier fabric. So I was a little bit bummed about that. It's not heavy, but it's definitely different than the previous color that I purchased. It's okay. I'm still excited to wear it and it's perfect. Next, I have dresses from Hayden Girls. Hayden Girls is a tween shop, but they have really cute clothes. I love their clothes. And wow, my hair is like hot mess tonight. They did send me these, so huge thank you to Hayden Girls for sending these over. I am so these grateful. Some of my favorite dresses out of all of them just because of the fabric. They're just so nice and the patterns are super fun. So the first one that I picked out was the blue uh, navy polka dot dress. I thought it was so fun. Navy goes with all seasons and I've never owned a dress like this. It's super fun and preppy and different for me so that'll be wild and fun. And then this one is probably going to be my favorite and one that you'll see on my Instagram the most because I'll wear it the most because it's I think it's the most comfortable, cutest. Like the fabric is just so lightweight. It's just this really cute striped dress, but I love the color. It's just very unique, and it's got some black in there. I just love, love, love the pattern. I saw this dress, and it was a super unique color, so I wanted to try it. It's just this like, muted purple gray color. It looks gray on camera, like pure gray, but it's more of like a blue tone. I think you'll see it better when I post photos, but it's, again, so comfortable. And I just thought this was a really unique color for the fall and winter, and I just, I love it, it's super cute. And then it has a fun tie in the front that you can't really see, but you'll see it on my Instagram. So those are the dresses that I got from Hayden Girls. Again, huge shout out for, to them for sending these over. So lastly, I chose some dresses. Thread Up, Thread Up sent me these as well. You guys know I'm a Thread Up ambassador. Love Thread Up, my Thread Up fam is, they're the best. They're always there when I need them. So thank you guys for sending these over. So the first one that I got is this gray dress. It just looks basic, but then there's this plaid on the side, and it looks like there's a flannel wrapped around it, but there's not. How fun is that? I saw this and I was like, this could not be more perfect for fall and winter, but it's just this nice t-shirt style dress. I either had to get a t-shirt style dress or like skater dress. When I saw this, I was like, number one pick, like perfect fall and winter while I'm going through this, but I can still super cute. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I think my mom had to take the tags out when she inserted the zippers. I think this one is by the brand Tucker and Tate. None of the dresses had zippers. We added all to them. Cannot wait to wear this. So comfortable. I feel like I'm not going to want to get out of this one. I'm going to want to wear it like pajamas. The next one I got more for the winter. In the winter I might get colder. I might be warmer than I normally am in the winter because I'm uncomfortable. With the halo, I have no idea what it'll be like, but I at least to get one long sleeve one. So I won't be wearing this right away. It's all really nice temperatures here in Michigan, but it's just this gray and black polka dot dress and this is originally from the brand Cat and Jack from Target so this is super cute as well. This dress, oh the comfort level in this dress. I think this is my second or third favorite. The fabric is impeccable. So lightweight, so perfect. So it's a, another basic black dress but it has this fun pattern on the bottom. This is originally from the brand Roxy. It's a Nordstrom type brand. As you guys can tell even though I'm going to be in Halo attraction I didn't want to sacrifice my love for fashion. It's one of those things where when you're going through a difficult process, you're like, what are going to be the barriers of this process and how can I still make it enjoyable so that I can have something to look forward to? Because you guys know I love fashion. I love looking good for the camera and I'm going to be posting Instagram pictures. I'm going to be talking about it, making videos about it. I don't want to wear the same as one simple black dress by 30 of the same dresses for 90 days. I still pride myself in showing my cute finds and like I said, I'm going to be posting about this. I'm not going to want the same outfits on my Instagram feed, all of that. So I didn't want to sacrifice that. So my mom and I put our heads together like, how can we make this work so we still have some cute stuff to look forward to. And just It may seem minor, but it's going to be a process where I don't really have much to look forward to. And I don't mean for that to sound depressing, but that's the reality of it. Like, I'm not going to be able to leave my home. I didn't want to sacrifice my love for fashion and being able to show you guys some cute dresses and not look the same in every Instagram post that I post about this. I am going to be incredibly transparent about this process, the ups and the 
the downs and nobody talks about halo attraction i'm going into this totally blind i don't know what it's like it's not like i can just search into youtube like what's halo attraction what it's like what do you wear like i had no idea and nobody ever made videos about this so i wanted that person um halo attraction isn't super common but it's common enough to where i feel like it needs to be talked about for somebody that because it is a big deal and it is a process. It gives me something to look forward to every day. The last dress that I have in the haul is this magenta bowl dress. I love this. And then it has a little gray, what do you call this? Like neck, I guess. I don't know. And I think the sleeves are just, yeah, they're just purple. But I love this one. This one is originally from Target as well, I think. I don't know what brand. I think Art Class. A lot of these dresses are super comfortable and lightweight. That's what I want to go for. As comfortable as possible. Well, I'm going through an uncomfortable process. So that is all the dresses that I have so far. Huge thank you to Primary.com, Hidden Girls, and ThreadUp for sending over dresses for me. It means more than you know, and it really helps me out. You guys will be seeing a part two to this, because I'm eventually going to need to get some more, um, because I'm going to, as grateful as I am for all these, and I am going to get sick of wearing the 15, well, yeah, 15, once my dresses from Old Navy come, 15 dresses after 100 days or whatever, I'll pass my recovery. When you guys see the part two, I'll be in traction, so... That'll be interesting, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, and just know that there are ways to adapt additional clothing um, for specific circumstances. You just have to get creative, and this is what my mom and I did. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!